Today we're unboxing and reviewing Aldi's retractable hose. Hello, I'm Griff Rees. Welcome to Gwynny Griffith. Here we talk everything beekeeping, farming, countryside living, and we do reviews just like this video. Now I've got you the Aldi special buy. This was uh, an online purchase only, not in store. And it's the retractable hose. Now this cost us £40 delivered. It was pretty much delivered next day. And we've always wanted a retractable hose, but uh, the ones I've seen in the shop, they're over 100 quid. And, we didn't want to spend that kind of money so when I saw this on the internet for £40 we thought we'll give that a try because it's got three years of warranty so if it does break we've got three years to send it back so the quality must be okay so let's open the box and have a look what it looks like That's the shop on all these. And that's just the receipt, $39.99. Special buys catalog. And there it is, the Aldi's garden line hose reel. 20 meters coil. So really interesting to see kind of quality this is for 40 pounds now hopefully it's already built and that's all I gotta do is put it up on the wall Comes with a nozzle. And there it is. Luckily, it's already built. Quality feels pretty good. Ring feels okay. It's got the quick release on already. And it's got the pin in the back. And then that's all you mount on the wall is this piece. And it looks like that just slots in and then it can pivot there. And there it is there three-year warranty on the hose. I don't know if you can see that. I mean, on something like this, with a big retractable coil and a big spring in there, three years of warranty or something like this is a lot of warranty. And uh, believe you me, it's gonna be tested here, especially if we're gonna get in the same kind of summer this year as last year when we walked on the garden every day. This is gonna come in a lot of use. Well, there's nothing left to do now. I'm gonna mount this up on the wall, plug it up, pull all the hose out, test it, put it back, and see if it works like it should. Let's get into it. And I forgot to say, it comes with these fixing screws. So it looks like your typical mini quartz screws that goes into wood, but it's got the concrete plugs as well. So you can either put this direct into wood or into a concrete wall. I haven't quite decided yet which building I'm gonna go into but I'm definitely going to use these screws because it's got the wide tops and when you look at this you need quite a wide screw so it doesn't just slip through so I've decided I'm going to fix this into the timber log store it makes fixing a lot easier when you go into wood I don't need to drill anything out this will just screw right into the wood if I was going to go into this brick wall you have to pre-drill put your plug in then screw this in but I've got the option here to go into timber building and that's what I'm going to do. 
Super, super easy to fit these. So I'll pick a strong part of the building. It's kind of going to go down when tight with this post. Give it a little bit of pressure and turn. Said we just level that up with the post that's one in. Same, all four screws, and it's job done. Just a close up. So you push that there, you just give that a couple of taps for just sticking and your socket will do the rest. Just watch you don't over tighten and crack the plastic. It's starting to feel solid already. And that's only half the screws in. Now to do the rest. Well, that's the last one in and that feels absolutely solid. Let's get the water on. So I'm pretty good there. So I don't need that piece, just a quick release into the tap. Now we got water. Let's see how good the coil spring is. Stops there. So 20, 20 meters of hose, there's a lot of hose, fair play. That's it. The red tape there shows us all out. I mean, look at all that coil. I mean, for most gardens, this is quite a large garden. I think this 20 meter will do it easy. So, let's see how easy it goes back. Wow, that's really good. That's much, much better than I thought it was going to be. Super, super powerful spring. Works out really easy there. And come winter, if you're not in the garden, you just turn the water off. Take that pin out. There's a handle there. Put that in the shed, protect it from the frost. That's pretty good for 40 pound. And she's back in place. Nothing to do now but to water the garden. Now if you like this video and you want to watch more of the same kind of content then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I try my best to put a new video out every week. Thanks for watching.